Good afternoon. I must be at the wrong address. I'd like to speak with a ship's captain. A Captain Ahab. Is that you? No. My name is Sherlock Holmes. That detective fella. So, you wanted to see me? That is correct. We need to talk. About what? About Black Peter, who was killed in his own hut with a harpoon. You know, don't you? Yes. How? The tobacco pouch. You recognized it. Oh, the sailor. It was you. Unbelievable. Well, fine. I confess. But if you really do know everything, you should also know that I didn't want to kill him. He made me do it. I know. Did you know about this story with the bond certificates? Did you need money? Yeah. I just wanted him to cough up a little silver. I'm out of work, and I thought maybe he could help me. Well, he refused outright, and he insulted me. I reminded him I knew all about that murder he committed at sea in 1883. Then he got mad when I spoke about his treasure. I barely just had time to throw the harpoon at him before he could jump at me with his knife. You know the truth? What will you do now? I ask that you return the bond certificates. Keep some of them. You will need them in your exile. It is better that you leave the country for a few years. And you won't say anything to the police? I will not say anything as long as you return the money. Well, I'll do as you ask. But what about Inspector Lestrade? I will deal with him. Goodbye. It's good that you asked me to come, Mr. Holmes. We do need to talk. About what? What do you mean? Our case, Mr. Holmes. You sent me a message via your little thug. His name is Wiggins, Inspector. Telling me that the case is solved. Well, Mr. Holmes, tell me, who is our murderer and where is he? The morgue. Eh? His name is, or rather was, Pablo Coventrao. He was also on the ship with Peter Carey, and he was a harpooner. I'll tell you everything, Inspector, but do calm down. Mrs. Hudson will bring us tea and orange cake. Orange cake? You're spoiling me, Mr. Holmes. That's my favourite. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Inspector Lestrade told me that I should thank you for clearing my name. He also said that you were waiting for me here. I came as fast as I could. I cannot thank you enough. It is all because of you that this nightmare is finally over. I believe that this belongs to you. My father's securities. Incredible! But how did you get them? It would take far too long to explain. Tell me, this is extraordinary. You are a genius. Then that may serve as an explanation. Goodbye, Mr. Nelligan, and good luck. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes, and thank you. A thousand times thank you.
Thank you.